Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about how to connect with the type ORM and the PostgreSQL with the Next.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So you can use the first create the ORM config.json file in the root. Else you can skip that also. Okay. Next, move to the code level. Here we go with this one. So here we have the entities, then user. So you have to create the model with entity primary column with the, uh, here we have ID, name and the email. Okay. Then we have to go with your, this is that done, user entity. Okay. Which name the field with ID, name and the email. If I go over here, I have already like run the script. So here we have a name, email and the ID is already created. Right. So the next step, entities is done after that we have to go with the connection manager so main file page dot tx so here we are building the connection manager for connecting to the postgres sql with type orm okay so here import the create connection connection options get connection manager with the type orm user entity we are using okay async function startup so here we are doing the connection manager to create with the database options so postgres host Port, username, password, database, and entities. So you can mention the full-fledged entities folder also over here. So currently I'm using the user entity only. Okay, logging. If you want to make the label the logging, then you can use. Otherwise, you can make it comment. Okay, synchronized to be true. Whenever there should be a new entity should be created, then automatically in the database tables should be automatically created. Right. Okay. Then here after that we are using the await connection that console.log that type ORM is connected and for checking that the we are able to get fetch the data so here we have add the one query for the user repository and find whatever the data in the user repository find then console.log the users else error fetching the data then start your next JS app okay and after saving this file and here you can see we fetch the one of the record okay here you can see that user id name and test record postgres test record, test record two, and this, this is fetching over here, right? So this is how we have successfully connected to the type ORM Postgres with the next years. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.